Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Duck Adventure for October the 16th. Um, it's been raining crazy here. It's actually raining right now. Um, I'm going to have to do this with the pivot heads again. i got to make this really quick uh, uh, with the big camera, but the ducks are wound up. Uh, no Muscovies are out this morning. I don't know uh, what's going on there, but the ducks, they really want out bad. I don't blame them. Um, there, but they were up last night. I woke up once last night and they were playing in the rain and uh, you know, having fun. I know what I'm doing today though, uh, because we've had two days of rain, so the pen is going to be really easy to wash out. So the pen, actually the pen's getting washed out today and the uh, the, bar, the barn and the shed will get new straw. Ducks are going to get a, a major cleaning today. So I don't know what's going to happen on the morning rush. Because of the rain, there is water puddles all over the yard. So, um, and Doug hurt his shoulder really bad yesterday. Um, again, you know, I had him locked up there, well, almost four days of I I inside. Uh, oh, I got to turn the, the screen here. Oh, guys, sorry about that. Um, I had the touch screen, uh, was getting water on it from the rain here. Um, <laughs> they're wound up. Doug, anyways, what happened yesterday, Doug, uh, at the farm, there's a dog there, a big dog, what seems a little bit lighter than Doug, about 105 pounds, and they're best friends, and they play, but there's this little tiny 10 pound, I don't know what it is, it's a little tiny thing, and Doug is just petrified of this little tiny dog, and what happened was yesterday, he was getting chased by the little dog, it was so funny, but it, it's not funny, he was getting chased by the dog, and uh, he slipped jumping into the truck, and uh, so his shoulder is back to square one again. So it's sort of ironic, you know, that uh, Doug, you know, the coyote hunter, is afraid of like, and this dog's like eight pounds. It is so small, it's, I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on with Doug and this little tiny dog. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go grab the uh, shotgun and I'm gonna let the ducks out and we're gonna see if we can get some kind of rush to the lake today. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like I said, there's puddles everywhere here. Oh, look at them all. They're seriously, they want out bad. All right, I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the gates, uh, two gates. They're two, the way they're clumped up like that, if I open the small gate, we're gonna have uh, a stampede. So I don't have this set up this morning. I'm hoping this will go, no, it's not gonna work. Damn. All right, guys, I gotta do a little bit of uh, rearranging here so that um, it's gonna be a screwed up rush here. So I'll get, uh, I'll do a little editing here and take this piece out what I'm about to do. I almost forgot to uh, turn the fence off. That would've been close. So what I did was I took the grids, which I'm gonna be mounting as doors uh, on the chute here. I just put them in the front so the ducks don't go in here. I'm gonna open, like I said, I'm gonna open up both gates. Oh yeah, the pen needs a good washing. It's gonna wash out fast today, actually. With this rain, uh, this will wash out. Unbelievable, I won't be in here. It'll t I bet you it'll only take me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to do the whole pen. It's a real muck fest. Oh, look at them. There, there they were, they wanted out bad. It's actually early today for some reason, I don't get it. It's uh, 7.30 and it's really bright out. I, I don't understand today, so usually 7.30 it's still pretty dark. But the sky is really bright this morning. Actually, I'll, I'll try to get you a shot here. The rain, I wish I could do this with the big camera. I'm, I'm doing the pivot head, I'm bending down on my knees here. Trying to get you guys a different perspective. Now I gotta get them out of the yard here as fast as possible because the yard is so wet. They'll, uh, they'll destroy my yard today. All right, guys, we're not staying here today. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna get the shotgun. Oh, right, so I got the shotgun ready here. Because I didn't do recon because it's raining and it's really hard to set the fireworks off in the rain. Come on, duckies, let's go. Oh, look at this. This is going to be a hard rush this morning. Yesterday was brutal. I just want to show you guys. That's what happens if the ducks get water. 
they'll just destroy the yard. Okay, sorry about this fast head work here, guys, but I gotta get the ducks out of here. And uh, Doug's inside, he really wants to come out bad, but I gotta be responsible here and, and keep him uh, locked up. Unfortunately, you know, uh, dogs don't know enough not to run when they're hurt. Let's go, ducks. Oh, these guys. They're... I really, you know, should just put the shotgun on my back and just start sprinting back and forth like Doug does. Because that's the only way I'm going to get these guys to go. <laughs> right when I need Doug the most, he's not here. Poor guy. Okay, ducks, wrong direction. Let's go. To the lake. Out of my yard. The, this is, I actually don't like these morning rushes like this. Plus the pivot heads, you know, just don't do justice on the morning rush. But I can't film with anything else right now because I believe, I don't know if you can see it in the, in the film here, or the video, um, film, video, same thing. Um, the rain is coming down pretty good right now. It's enough that it screws the camera mic up and I really don't want to screw my mic up. Come on guys, let's go. Oh, the, the ducks are so cute. I love the way they waddle. Okay, the ducks are hesitant. Oh, look at that, they're coming back again. Oh no, this happened yesterday and I had to run my face off. Don't worry guys, I'm here. If there's something down here, we'll fix them quick. Come on, let's go, ducks. I'm gonna try something, guys. I'm gonna go down ahead of them, and maybe the ducks will follow me, the fact that I'm down there. So I'm gonna try to walk here with my head turned sideways so I can film this. And look up my peripheral vi oh my peripheral vision walking through the swamp. Oh look at that! The swamp's nice and wet. Oh yeah, here they come. All right, I'm uh I'm trying to get down here to the mouth of the creek. Here, I'll just look forward here. We're gonna miss part of this this morning, but nothing we can do about it. Everything's nice and wet today. Just in case there's something down here. All right, ducks, everything's cool. I'm here. Oh, look at them. They get in the water, they're so excited. Oh man, if a coyote jumped out right now, it would be an epic close range shot. It would be a disintegrating shot, actually. Uh, chances of that are pretty slim with me right here. At this range, buckshot and a coyote, it, you, could, you, could, you could probably, you know, you'd, you'd sever part of his body. Be a, just a little too much uh, buckshot hitting his body for him to uh, limp away or anything. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at them back at the yard. I got a whole bunch of herding to do. Ah, ducks. Man, I could really use Doug's help.
and he wants to come out so bad this morning he was just he was standing there with his feet up on the wall and he was like stretching and he was like give me kisses while i put my hat on and i was like doug no sorry you can't come out all right i gotta go back and do some herding guys this is crazy they're gonna dribble down here all the time all morning and I got to get them to the water so I can relax because you know the safest place for them is out in the lake absolutely nothing that's going to get them out there but I don't know if you can see pivot heads don't pick this up but you can see that it looks like fog but it's actually not fog that's rain it's supposed to just pour all day it's an absolute perfect day to wash the pen out so so the ducks are, like I said, they're going to get their pen washed out today and uh, new straw in the buildings. They're going to get a big cleanup. Oh, you know, you wouldn't believe, it sounds like a massive rainstorm just on the other side of the, uh, the creek, mouth of the creek right now, uh, the, the, the water flapping with them playing in it. I wanted to be out there on the lake with the, uh, the big camera and get this but I can't uh, there's just no way I can do it with this rain all right I'm gonna go back and herd these stragglers which are like tons oh look at them all ah oh, ducks all right guys I'll uh, I'll turn the camera back on when I get up there let's get these ducks to the lake just look at them hunting all over the yard here Come on, ducks. I got my two little herding sticks here because I don't have my herding dog. So, it looks like Moe's gonna get, end up going down here today. Oh, my Scovies. How about you fly to the lake? Get out of the yard. That little male there, I think he hurt himself. He's the one that yesterday, I think it was yesterday I showed you guys, uh, you know, his leg is all swollen. Oh, we got a little duck porn. Oh, and that's actually uh, this year's duck. Oh, what's going on? Now she can't move. All right, I got to uh, I got to get around this duck. I don't want to force her down. She can stay in the yard. All right, you can stay in the yard there, duck. That, that, no, that's not this year's duck. Oh, she's hurt. Oh yeah, that, she is this year's duck. She's too young to be mating. Come on, ducks, let's go to the uh, swamp, lake. I mean, I can't believe you're making me do this. See, the thing is, they know <laughs> what they have to do. Come on, ducks. Let's go. Oh, no, they're going back. Oh, man, I wish I had dug right now. And everything's so slippery, I gotta be careful walking. Oh, you gonna fly? That big guy, I can't believe it. Yesterday when I saw that big duck flying, I wish I had the big camera to catch it because uh, you know, Muscovy males are not supposed to be able to fly. Let's go, guys. This is the problem with uh, mud. You know, the ducks uh, would rather be in the yard drilling, then down at the lake. Oh, we got a whole bunch got behind me. Come on guys, let's go. I'm gonna put my sticks down here. 
and we'll go down uh, to the creek with the shotgun just in case and I'll have to go back up again and get that other group it's so warm right now um, it's actually right now it's 20 degrees Celsius you know for October the 16th that is uh, you know but it's gonna change you know when it changes it's gonna be harsh Yeah, they're staying up in the yard. I gotta do a third batch here. Oh, that screwed up morning rush this is. Well, I knew it when I saw the rain and I came out and I saw the puddles in my yard. I knew right off the bat it wasn't gonna be a, a flow. Oh, Muscovy flew in. Oh, I like when I, they're going down the creek, you know, when they're all swimming like that, it's, it's so cute. The Muscovy uh, can't wait for everybody else. He's, they're just trying to jump the line. Too funny. All right, guys, I'm going to go back up to the yard and get the next one. It's actually, it's all geese that are up there, too. It's so beautiful, the warm air right now blowing. It's actually, it's warmer than summer was. All right, I'm gonna go up and uh, get the next bunch. Oh, it looks like they're coming. Well, some of them are. All right, I'm gonna head up there and uh, prod them a little bit. Oh, uh, they're over there drilling along the house from the drippings off the roof. They've just destroyed that area of my yard. I gotta get them out of here. They're, uh, they'll, 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 what they do is unbelievable. Like, Look at that, that just happened. They just, 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 the amount of time I was down in the swamp, they turned that whole area to mud. That's how fast they work. And this is only, you know, probably, I'm looking here, you know, maybe 50, 60 ducks. Come on, girl, we're going to the swamp. No yard today. If I catch you back here, well, there'll be big trouble. Oh, oh, Dougie, what a time to get hurt. Look, they're looking for worms. Oh, we got a bunch of ducks coming back now from the swamp. Well, this is a crazy morning rush today. All right, look at these guys, they're deking me out. Oh, I wish I had Doug. I think they know that I don't have Doug.
Oh, the rain's really coming down hard. It's actually, it's hit me in the face, so I, I, if it's hit me in the face, there's a good chance the lens on the camera's getting wet right now, so. Come on, Muscovies, just fly. Just do something spectacular. <laughs> oh, these ducks. Let's go, duckies. Oh, that's that hurt one. I don't want her. She can stay here. She can get a pass today. Oh, look at this. What a mess fast, or mud fast, I should say. Well, that's a mess, but... Come on, ducks. There's a lot of footage for really something so basic. You're gonna make the viewers upset here uh, dragging this out. I don't mind if there's you know 10 or 15 of them left in the yard, they're not gonna do a lot of damage. Hold oh, that little Muscovy. She might fly. Usually when they sit on that log, it means they're going. Yep, look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, the big camera would have been cool. Look at that. As soon as they get on that log, that's the their place they like to take off from. I just love the fact, you know, the Muscovies can fly. They can come and go as they please, and they stay here. Uh, so neat. Oh, look at this. Getting, they get sidetracked. They can't focus on what they need to do, and that's get to the lake. Come on, let's go. I was hoping, I was actually gonna take the camera and just run out quick and do a quick video with the big camera out of the lake, but now the rain's really coming down hard. I gotta be careful too here because uh, this, uh, this area here is now uh, becoming uh, not human safe to walk. Oh, that actually was a big hole. Come on, ducks. Sorry about the uh, camera work here, guys, but I'm, I got water blown on my face. My hat's, uh, I'm hoping the hat's uh, stopping it from hitting the lens so that this stays in focus for you guys. Yeah, that, remember I, I pointed out earlier, that haze that was over there on the horizon there, the water, I said it was raining, well now it's on top of us. So I can't even go out to the dock with the, the big camera and even take a quick shot for you. Look at them. All right, well that's one screwed up morning rush for you guys. And of course, because they haven't been attacked by a predator in you know probably a week, uh, you know, they're uh, not too worried about being in the creek. Silly ducks. I went and got the camera. I'm going to do a quick shot down of the lake. I, I got the case so it doesn't get while I'm walking there. But I want to show you the only ducks in the yard right now are the Muscovy. And I don't know where the hurt little peeking went. I don't know if she did go down to the swamp because I didn't force her to. So I don't know where she is. But right now, every duck that's around me is uh, the Peking's hunt, or the, uh, the uh, uh, Muscovy's hunting. And then there's uh, one of last year's females, which I think she's on her. She's shutting down too. This, uh, and I'm feeding them pellets. I don't know what's going on. No, so, let's go to the lake. Okay, I just came in the bush here and there's one of last year's Muscovy's. She's hiding here in the bush. Now she's hiding under a tree. Uh, these are females. I'm just they're like they're like dying elephants. They keep going away to die And I've even uh, you know been putting uh, pellets in front of them. They won't even eat. It's like they're just on shutdown They know they're going and they're just And nothing's gonna and it doesn't make any sense like if it was a virus or a disease uh, That affected Muscovies then all the Muscovies should be sick And it's only the females And Mo's you know it looks like a million dollars makes absolutely I'm baffled All right, the ducks are, <laughs> they're all, they got the dock covered. 
the rain's coming really hard here so this is going to be a really fast video uh with the big camera they're all on the dock they got the dock completely covered Ducks. Oh, I got off my dock. Actually, while I'm down here, I'm going to pull the boat out of the water because uh, it's probably got a lot of water in it right now. Because it rained all night. Oh. oh, yeah, we got lots of water in the boat. Rained pretty good last night. All right, ducks. All right, I need the big camera here to give you guys a, a better video. Okay, guys, the most bizarre thing. I, I, didn't, I haven't even got the camera out of the case yet. The ducks completely freaked out, and they're gone back up the creek. There's a, a bunch behind me, but I've got uh, to run back to the house here and uh, get down the creek and head these guys off. There, it was just no reason. They just all, everybody just panicked and uh, went back up the creek. It's really pouring now. There's definitely no way I can get the big camera out. Um... It's, uh, but their ducks are not at the, uh, they're not coming up the, up the uh, creek. So they must have went to the mouth of the creek with that big area that they've got cleared. And they're all hoarding, uh, you know, clumping up in there and sticking together. But there's not a sign of a duck, so. But the rain's coming down really hard now, so there's absolutely no chance of me getting the camera out to give you guys a, a shot. But, oh, one good thing about the rain, it's washing the pen out. It'll be less work for me today. Oh, is it ever washing out good? Well, I'm going to take advantage of the rain today. I'm going to be cleaning, I'm cleaning everything out. The barn's getting cleaned out. The uh, pan's getting washed out. I'm just in here. Everything, uh, everything's going to be nice and fresh for the ducks tonight. So, see if they've given me any eggs. Oh, there's a little Muscovy. Well, she's in here. One chicken egg. <coughs> oh, the ducks are slacking. Hey, girl. God, you're a rough looking bird. I don't get it, what's going on with those girls. Uh, oh, one duck egg. No, duck egg. Egg recon. Oh man, one egg, two eggs. What a difference from like, oh, last winter when you come down and get 63 eggs. All right, well, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get everything ready here and start washing the pen out. And Doug's, Doug, uh, I let Doug out, my mistake. Oh, I screwed up, I should not have let him out. He, uh, he's running and he, He's hurt his he's hurt his his uh, shoulder more. So now he's limping, you know, and I can't put him inside because he's all wound up and he'll just claw at the door. So I'm screwed. Dog's gonna have to be out here. So, ah, oh, what a dog! All right, I gotta start my job. Well, we got two duck eggs. There's another one out here. That's a peeking egg for sure. They're the ones that drop everything out here. So. All right, I'm going to start washing this place out. It's disgusting, the inside of that building. Actually, there might be an egg in there. Oh, it's, it's going to go quick today, though. All the, everything's being pre-softened. Oh, that's disgusting. All right. Ducks are going to have a brand new clean place tonight. Look at this. They're having a dock party. Unbelievable. I came down and half of them just got off the dock. <laughs> Doug and I are uh, just taking a break here. Well, I'm taking a break from cleaning the pen. And I've... Uh, come down here to uh, give you guys a little shot of the docks on the lake because uh, it just stopped raining It's been raining. Whoa. Oh, that's slippery Everything's really slippery here. It's been raining crazy. Oh, and the ducks are uh, Playing I can hear them. I was working in the pen cleaning and uh, all I could hear was quacking They're just having like way too much fun down here and there's some really dark clouds So I got to make this quick because I want to get you guys some footage They've definitely got a mess here. <laughs> Hello, ducks! <laughs> that black cloud in the background is not a good sign here. It's been just crazy rain. But it's really warm. Like you, actually, I overheated cleaning the uh, pen. And it took a little longer because that cedar leaf Hello, ducks! Holy mackerel! I gotta get my board out of the water. Look at this. She's full of water. Oh, good. Oh, Dougie. 
boat's just full. Well, I came down just the right time to uh, clean the boat out. Or pull the boat out, I should say. Hello, ducks! Oh, it's warm. I got my, I got to take my jacket off here. It's in cooking. Oh, look at this, they're coming right over. Hello, ducks! You ran from me this morning, but now you're coming over to me. You'd almost think they're happy to see me. All right, I'm gonna give the dock a quick wash off here so I don't slip. I wanna to walk to the, uh, to the end of it here, but everything's covered in poop. Doug, slow down, Doug. Oh, Doug, he's so dangerous on the dock. Dock's completely covered in water here and it's slippery. And uh, Doug's shoulder and he's running like a crazy fool. And the, uh, it's, it, oh, I can't believe how warm it is. It's gotta be pushing like 25 degrees here in the, uh, the sun. And the humidity is just through the roof. Now the ducks, they didn't like me. Oh, uh, well, Doug. Doug. Oh, man, he's all over the place here. Okay. So the ducks didn't like me getting the broom out to uh, sweep the duck off. A duck off. The deck off. They left. They're over there now. And uh, they're not coming over. They won't come back for me. I've called and they won't come. Even Goose Lee. He's, uh, he's over there. <laughs> he's uh, on guard. No, maybe if I waited a while, but I still got to shovel out the uh, the pan. Or I mean the uh, I'm, I'm lost for words today, guys. I still have to shovel out the uh, the two buildings, the barn and the uh, the shed. They're getting new straw today, so pen's all cleaned up, new straw. The ducks are gonna be really happy tonight. They love when I clean things up. You gotta really tell. Like it's hard to believe, you know, the pen that they would, you know, they could tell the difference. But uh, I know I notice it when I clean the pan out. Uh, one, they go into the pen faster when it's clean, and uh, they're a lot happier, which I, you know could actually backfire on me. I could end up having an all-night kager here, and then I'll be up all night. Oh, the ducks aren't coming over. Oh, they're looking at me. Take a look there. Ooh, they're checking me out. They don't know what to do. Oh, well, they're going to go back. All right, well, that's it. No luck uh, getting the ducks over here. I got to go back to work then. They don't want to play with me. Okay, I've been waiting here, thinking that maybe the ducks are going to come over, but look at them. They're all at the mouth of the creek, and it looks like they're going home. It looks like they're going to come home early tonight. But then again, you know, they did this to me this morning, and then I ran around to the, uh, you know, to the yard, and there was no sign of them. So it's bizarre. Well, I tried to get some footage here and they left us. All right, you wouldn't believe it. I was, I went into the back shed to get the pitchfork so that I could do, uh, you know, clean the shed out. And this is what happened. Look at it. I couldn't believe it. I, I was in the back shed digging out the pitchfork and I was like, okay, what's that noise out there? I hear ducks. And they're like back, this is like an hour early. So I didn't even get an aerial. We didn't get anything. We got screwed tonight. I had to rush home. I don't understand why they're home so early. It's absolutely gorgeous out. Doug, back here. Come here. The mud, uh, because it's been raining all day, the swamp is up, so they're sticking right far to the the, uh, the, the left there. 
A couple went through the mud and they're having a hard time right now. Well, there must not be a predator down there tonight. You know, guys, have you noticed that every time I set up a, um, you know, a way of getting the predators, you know, I set up the tree stand, you know, then the predators stop coming in the yard. Now, you know, I've got a, you know, a set up down the swamp. Oh, look at that. Dog, don't even think of it. Oh, that was pretty cool. And Doug uh, actually didn't, uh, so my scolding I gave him the other day worked. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, the Muscovies. <laughs> I love them, they fly. They got such big wingspans. Well, I guess uh, it was, uh, there was nothing in the creek holding them back tonight. And that's why they're back early. We got a couple stragglers there at the end. There's the ruin. Well. You know, and Sutton told me I was I was in the back shed, you know, to get the pitchfork. I said, Matt, you know, I should go up the step up of the ladder, you know, just to take a look. But I, you know, I looked at the clock, and it's like it's only ten after four, so I thought, no, nah, they won't come home this early. And they did. Oh, there's leopard duck. Well, guys, that's the uh, the rush home tonight. We got shortchanged. Okay, guys, I've got the camera set up here because I want to show you how they sneak up on me when I'm feeding them. I don't know if they're going to do it or not. Usually, uh, as soon as I start doing this, they start the uh, the duck train. Yeah, here they come. And they, they, uh, they worked their way in so innocent like that. It's so funny. Oh, they're talking to each other. Food time. Oh, it's so funny. Look at this little thing. Oh, they're dirty tonight too. Well, the pen's completely clean. They've got new straw in all the buildings. So, tonight actually could be a big party. Oh, they're all congregating at the front of the pen here. They're waiting for me to leave.
You know it, they didn't even gonna put a good show on for me. Usually <coughs> when I do the feed, it's like it's just like this train coming in of ducks. Uh, and they all look at me waiting for me to finish dumping the feed in. So but some of the ducks, I'll just show you here. I got the, the fresh straw. And they're uh, they've discovered it. Now not many of them have gone in there so far, so. But that's cleaned out and the barn's all cleaned out, so, and the pan's clean. Everything's cleaned up for the ducks tonight. And actually, look at this, they're not even hungry. You know, I think uh, they're getting so good at foraging for food now that I, I honestly, I think they're actually better than last year's ducks. You know, as far as getting their independence and eating out there. So if, if it was July, you know, and these ducks at this age, I honestly think that I could actually stop feeding them. That uh, they would forage at the food you know, forage for food so well that uh, you can go the whole summer. I honestly, I, I truly believe that. I think uh, that if, you know, if it was, um, you know, if I hatched the ducks, you know, if I was hatching ducks in, you know, in, in March, April, that uh, by July, August, I could, I could actually stop feeding them food. Because now they're not rushing to the food anymore at night. You know, uh, like, you know, they've been out all day. And they would, look at this, like, they're, you know, the food's in the feeder. And nobody's interested. They're all, you know, running around eating, uh, grazing. So they must have ate a lot of minnows today and weeds. And I'm really curious on what these guys are going to taste like. Oh, Doug. <laughs> he's, he's guarding his ducks. He's limping, but he's not limping really bad. But he keeps going for bursts or runs. I can't stop him. He's been out with me working. It's been a brutal day here on the duck adventure. Lots of duck chores. And of course, you know, the duck chores weren't ready to be done when Colin was here. So Colin leaves and then, you know, then finally everything gets dirty enough that it has to be clean. So, well, I'm done for the day. I need a shower. Well, I haven't had my shower yet. I totally forgot that I had to shovel out the uh, the trench. Because every time I uh, I wash the pool, the, um, the pan out, um, I always go down and I always do, uh, try to reclaim the uh, washed out sand and rock that erodes out and then I uh, dig it out of the trench and then bring it back in and fill all the holes in the pen that the ducks drill because there's they always have every time I wash the pen out there's a whole bunch of new holes but they're uh, it's about 25 to 7 and they're not interested in going in yet they're uh they're, 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 this uh, daylight uh, getting uh, shorter and shorter is really upsetting the ducks because 
It's uh, they they don't want to go in the pen. Now they don't know it's all clean and there's a uh, new straw in both buildings. So when the, there's some of the ducks. Actually, there's a bunch in the the building now playing. Here, I'll give you a shot. They're <laughs> they haven't. Uh, the rest of them don't know yet. They love new straw, so it'll be interesting tomorrow how packed down the barn's going to be because, uh, you know, they haven't been going into the barn. It's actually, I've cleaned out the uh, steel shed three times to the barn once, so they're just not using the barn right now, except for the ones that are going in there and dropping eggs. So I'm just gonna sit here and relax. It's an absolutely, it's it's so nice out that I'm unbelievably hot and sweating from all the work today. It was actually a pretty brutal day, work-wise. A lot of duck chores will be done today. Oh, it looks like they're starting to head over. Slow but sure, they're heading in. I, I just have to show you this here. I got all the ducks in. Um, this is crazy how many ducks are in this shed. New straw. And they're just packed in there. Look at that. The place is full of ducks. So I can't go in there because uh, they'll panic. If I go near the building, actually, if I got, if I went closer to that door, they would go into an actual frenzy and they would get into a mob and they would start basically like a pinball and they would bounce off the walls inside. It's not a pretty sight. Ducks don't like, uh, they get panicked uh, in the pen here. The pen is basically their uh, domain and they're not, they're not big on sharing it. They're, oh, Doug, watch out. They're not big on sharing it. Uh, they're, um, it's the old panic thing. Uh, they panic a lot. But I'm going to take you for a walk around because I want to show you. Uh, like, look at this, okay? The pen is empty. There's no ducks at this end. There's no ducks in the barn. They're all in a big clump over there. We'll go around. I'll take you a shot here so you can see uh, the other side. We'll do a quick edit here. All right. So this is basically what they do. See, they're panicking. Just me walking around uh, and Doug walking around. Actually, Doug, uh, because the ducks just panic, he's uh, actually, his ears are up and he's looking all around the bush. He thinks something's here. Because when the ducks panic, Doug freaks. But he doesn't realize that it was him coming out of the uh, the heads that freaked them. But just like, there he is right now, look at him. He's, uh, he's, he's thinking there's something here because the ducks just panic. <laughs> it's so funny. So, this is what they do. They, they just hang around in the center. It's really, uh, it's really bizarre, you know. They got they got room to go in the, you know, the other side of the, the pan there. They could go into the, you know, the barn, but this is what they like doing. They like hanging around in a big horde. And the duck feces right there usually is about two inches thick when I do my cleaning. It's the thickest spot in the pan, and that's why. They just love hanging around together. They get stuck in a clump, eh? it's uh, safety. So they're in for the night. I'm gonna just turn the, the uh, pen on. Electric, I mean, uh, so that they're safe. But that's the duckies going to bed. And it's uh, seven o'clock. They actually went in on their own. I didn't have to do any hurting. So. Oh, I hope they sleep tonight because I really could use it. I worked hard today. It was a hard day today on Matt's body. I didn't realize, uh, I, I made a to-do list today and it uh, was a little bit too long. 